In this video, we're trying to trap some beavers. We catch a lot of unexpected animals along the way. Explosions, predators, raw flesh, trail camera footage. We cook and eat unusual meals. There's too much in here to explain, really. Oh yeah, and I eat roadkill. We're going out trapping today, so getting some free meat would be kind of cool. Let's see here. We'll find out. Here in just a second. There he is. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big fox squirrel right there. Everyone's driving by like, what is this crazy dude doing with this, uh, with this dead squirrel? He is pretty fresh. He's, uh, he's still pretty soft. He probably, he probably got hit an hour or two ago. We'll be able to eat him. Cool, man. Roadkill squirrel. And then we're about to go out and trap some beavers and some coyotes. We'll see how it goes. This is actually a piece that will go on that side and this side. You squeeze it together like scissors and it'll squeeze these together and I locked it in with this pin. For now, I just wanna show you how this works. I'm gonna release this pin and that pin and whenever a beaver comes through this and hits it, it will go off, kill him. I'm gonna slide it that way, flip it over, bring it on down. Now, you just make sure that's on there and set and it is. So these little prongs is what's gonna set it off. When they walk in, boom dead <laughs> that right there is a kill trap let's go ahead and walk you can kind of see where he where he has it all dammed up right here it's kind of like a, a high spot it's almost like he's built a levee around this whole thing out this direction is where all the dead timber is it it run it runs for a few hundred yards all the way that way but let's let's walk along this edge and see if we can find any mudslides where the beavers are coming in and out of and we'll set up our trap there He's got a trail that goes up under here. He walks up underneath there. He goes from there all the way down to there. I might bring some tannerite out here and blow up a section of this. We'll set the woods on fire. Okay guys, I found a second spot that's really active. So I'm gonna set one trap here and one trap in that first spot that we saw. We need to release these clips and then we're gonna bait it up. So the last thing I'm gonna do is actually bait this. And I bought this Hawk Baker's Beaver Lure. I don't know if this is actually good or not, but we'll go ahead and try it out. If it catches something, then I guess it's pretty dang good. It smells like tobacco, like chewing tobacco. It smells like dip, it really does. He's sitting there dipping, he's like, hey, baby, can you go sell this on your eBay account? Okay, we got him set. It's a hot one today, man, I'm sweating. We got the two beaver traps up. We're gonna go back to the side by side and I have trail cameras. We're gonna put trail cameras up on each of those. My trail cameras only record 15 second videos, little clips, uh, but hopefully we'll uh, get a little bit of beaver action on it. Oh, this looks deep. There's a bunch of fresh dookie. It's actually pretty smushy. Okay guys, we're at this hole right here. Either a possum, raccoon, or armadillo lives inside this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this linen lures beaver meat to try to catch a coyote. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of this stuff way down in that hole. So if a coyote comes up and smells it, he's gotta start digging his paw down in this hole. Ugh. Oh, dude, <coughs> I'm not even kidding. I shouldn't have done that. Guys, this is some nasty stuff right here. So on these traps, you want to take the outside of your hand, you want to do it like this, like you're karate chopping. You're going to press down, and then you're going to open this mouth up. Now you can press it all the way out. And then once you, once you push this little lever forward, looks like it doesn't reach, but that's when you got to pick up the plate and, it, and, then, and then let it go at the same time. So now it's clipped in and it's ready to go. So as soon as you step on that, it's going off. Now some of this dirt and stuff that we have, sprinkle it over the top. I went ahead and set three coyote foot traps. These are MV 550 predator traps. I'm using beaver meat to stick down in this hole. I'll cover it up so that the coyote has to come dig it up, raising the chances of him stepping on the trap. A couple months ago, I put a foot trap up right here 
and I had a coyote come by on the trail camera, never even stopped for it. I have no idea why. He kept going. Later on that night, I caught a possum. Well, I'm gonna set a, the last foot trap right here in hopes that we get that coyote. As you see, this thing got hit right in the head. His head is a pancake. She's not gonna go to waste. She's gonna give me a good meal. And then look at this pan. Me and my sons came out here the other day. There's a huge junk pile over there. It's got like tires and old vehicle parts and just all sorts of crap. And um, we went over there and found this old pan, man. So I pulled this over here. We'll cook that squirrel in here. Okay, guys, we got our fire started back there. So I got to clean this squirrel fast. The easiest way to, that I know to clean a squirrel is to go ahead and just take the legs and the head off. So that's what I'm going to do start with these legs now that I got the head and the legs off now I'm just gonna kind of cut a slit right there in the middle okay so I cut the fur all the way around just work that fur all the way down snip it off through the tail we got our squirrel now I'm gonna go wash them off in the pond we got us a nice little roadkill squirrel guys I know that I'm still gonna be hungry so I'm gonna eat the squirrel and I'm gonna eat a can of Mexican style chicken tortilla soup. So I'm about to just crack this open and throw it on there. I got what I was looking for, can of sardines. We're gonna go ahead and set that box trap right here while the squirrel cooks. So this is different than the foot traps. This is a box trap. So hopefully something will walk in. They'll walk all the way through and they'll step on this foot plate back here and it'll set the trap off and it'll lock them inside. Hopefully we'll catch a raccoon or a possum around here because turkey season's coming up and they eat all the turkey eggs and we want more turkeys. We don't want less of them. Look at all that juice. You wanna go swimming in that? So I went ahead and made a little spoon out of that sardine can, the, the lid to it. All right, it's time for the roadkill. Let's make sure it's cooked. <laughs> that sucker's cooked. I don't know if this is totally cooked, guys, but we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah, it looks fairly cooked. It's pretty good. Well, here we go. Roadkill. good it's a squirrel <laughs> I wish I could have put him in the crock pot and made another squirrel quesadilla like I did on the last episode but this is good nothing like squirrel so unfortunately we didn't catch anything in the coyote traps and also we haven't caught anything in the beaver traps but what I did notice was one of the sticks I put in one of those traps I put some of that beaver lure on it that stick had been pulled out. So I got the trail camera up. We need to check that and see if a beaver came up and grabbed it. I think he did, but we'll check that tonight. For now, before we leave though, I'm gonna take this tannerite and I'm gonna set it on the side of this dam here. And we're gonna blow it up and see what kind of damage it does to the side of this. I don't know if it's gonna open it up and give it and let the water flow out or if it's gonna do nothing. But we're gonna try it. This is two pounds of tannerite. I'm gonna have the boys back up even further way back there, but I'm set up right here, gonna take the shot. Let's see what it does. <laughs> oh my gosh, what in the world? That was a big, big explosion. Now we need to go down there and see what it actually looks like. Guys, we're heading over to the Tannerite. Look what we just found. A whole dead deer. What the heck? Hey, on, man. That's a good deer, too. Well, that stinks. Yeah, this Hold that thing up facing me. Look at how thick those antlers are. Yeah, go on, man. Okay, guys, this is all it did right here. Um, it just barely made a little dent. It kind of pushed out this way, but two pounds is definitely not enough to blow up one of these little levees that the beavers build. 
The Tannerite watching it was pretty dang cool, but it did not do the job. Okay guys, I have unfortunate information. So this trap right here was not stepped on, but look what's right next to it. A coyote came in here, ate it, and was on the opposite side of the foot trap, man. So he ended up getting away. As you can tell, this this uh, scat has like hairs and stuff in it. So he's been uh, chowing down on some animals out here. And then there's the, there's the hole where I put the beaver meat in there and covered it up. He dug it, ate, took a dump right here and left. Man, and my trap was right here. We just got to our, our beaver trap and we see something in there we did not expect. It's moving, it's a turtle. So it looks like we caught a red-eared slider. We caught him on his right back foot. And um, I, I'm having trouble getting his head to pop out, but I think he's got some red dots or red streaks on the side of his head. And he has webbed feet. So that's why we know it's a red-eared slider. It looks like he's totally fine. We did crack the shell, but as you see, his legs and everything is good in there. Uh, still moving, he'll live. So we're gonna go ahead and let him go. And uh, hopefully we can get a beaver next time, not a turtle. There he goes. Bye, friend. It looks like the trap is pulled in there, so we're gonna see what we got on this trap. Oh, she's a... Is that a... What is that? What is that? What the oh turtle. my That's gosh. a huge turtle. That is a snapping turtle. Oh, shoot. We just got an enormous snapping turtle. So this right here is a common snapping turtle. We're gonna go ahead and take them out and uh, bring them home and cook them and eat them. <laughs> we got the beaver traps reset and we've got our common snapping turtle down here that we're gonna take home and uh, eat. And you never put your finger in there because these guys still move after they're dead. Yeah, look at them moving. See that? That dude is totally dead. So don't put your finger in there. You guys want to know something nasty? I was just holding that uh, that turtle's tail and I was carrying him out and I saw something on my, on my finger moving. I had this enormous leech already bit me on the finger and was sucking my blood. That's some nasty stuff right there. Gross, man. I just wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff that came off the trail cam, like these deer coming up here. This next one has a coyote running off with something in his mouth. It looks like maybe a rabbit. And right here we have a hooded merganser. You can tell because it looks like its feathers kind of turned into a mohawk. Here we have an otter, that, that's a different trail camera, but uh, here's a bunch of wood ducks. Man, they were coming in left and right, walking across there is cool. There's a fox squirrel. And of course the otters are back. We had the otters on both cameras. They were everywhere, they are so active. And then of course a raccoon, we had tons of raccoons. Guys, we're back to check our trap, and I think it's gone. Looks like something's in it. Oh my gosh, I see a beaver tail. We got the beaver. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's right there. Guys, you have no idea how hard I've worked to get one of these beavers, and I see him floating right there. We got us a beaver, and I owe it all to this fancy mustache. I decided to cut the beard, see if I had luck with this. Boom, one day, got him. If all else fails, always resort to the police mustache and you're gonna be good. I can't believe it! Woo! Oh my gosh, that is a big beaver! Holy cow! Look at that, man! Dude! Dude, this thing is ancient! Holy cow! What in the world? What did I just catch? That is an enormous animal. I can't believe it. Oh gosh, I can barely pick him up. Guys, this is a heavy animal. Ugh, wow, I cannot believe that. That is crazy. This dude is heavy, man. That dude is a worker. Look at those things. Gosh dang. Look at these feet, man. Look at that. The webbing in between them. Why that spreads out. 
That is super cool, man. That's cool. I brought a tool today to help me get through all of these briars. It's a huge briar patch going to the next slide. And I've been walking around through all the water and it takes a long time. I'm about to just cut my way through. There we go, we made it. We got a few battle scars, but that's to be expected when you're fighting briars. Oh man, this one's still set. You can see all this mud that's been freshly packed in there, so there's still beavers out here. We need to catch them. But this trap is not set off. One beaver down, tally ho mateys. Nothing over there in that trap, but we got one beaver. Mission successful! That wasn't cool. Just like a deer have this little tendon that runs in here, a lot of times you can cut a, a slit right between that tendon and the bone and it'll hang them. So I hope it'll do the same thing with the beaver. Let's try. Okay, it's time to weigh the beaver. Let's see how much he weighs. This scale only goes to 50 pounds though. So if he maxes it out, we'll never know. Not 40, but 36 pounds. So I guess it really is a beaver on the smaller side, but beavers are just huge. It's crazy. I'm surprised this one could even get through my trap. If it was a 70 pound beaver, I don't even think it would be able to fit in that square because the square is like this. You can tell right there, another beaver got in a fight with him and bit him because it looks like there's two teeth right there. See how it's kind of like curved right there and then this one's curved. He's fighting, there's a tooth mark and there's a tooth mark. It's time to cook this snapping turtle. I did not look up any recipes online. I only looked up some information and said it's tough. So I'm going to make my own recipe right here. Got those webbed feet like a beaver. Okay guys, we're doing something a little different today. I want to try to cook some of this turtle. I don't know if this is gonna work, so I'm only using some of the turtle meat. On the other side, we are going to be cooking this beaver tail because back in the day, the beaver tail was something that all the wild men loved. Why? Because it's full of fat, so they could survive for a very long time on it. We are going to try to cook this and then render it down so that you have only the good fat. Let's try it. First, we have a little bit of turtle meat. Go ahead and throw it on in there. Now we're gonna see how much chicken broth this thing can actually hold. Oh, there it goes out the back. So it's not gonna hold a ton, but it looks like it's gonna hold some. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, wash your sister sauce. Now here in Arkansas, we really do have to wash our sisters because they're dirty and they don't bathe. So use a little bit of this. Got garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, and then a little combo salt and pepper. It's now been 10 minutes and I think the fire is gonna be high enough. Oh, look at that, dude. That's cooking beautifully. The fire, I think, is ready for the beaver tail. So, beaver tail, here we come. Let's see what it's already done to the other side. Whoa! <laughs> it's already put a hole in it. That's crazy, man. Let's go ahead and give this a little flip. Oh, look at it laying down cracking and just laying down. I think as long as we get it all to kind of crackle like this, it'll all just peel off. Okay, the purpose of this is just to get that skin to pop off, which it's doing. I think we're gonna give it one more flip, but we're not trying to cook the fat. We're just trying to get this outer layer to uh, chip off. All right, it's time to take the beaver tail off. I think it's good to go. We'll put that right there. Now we need this guy over the fire because we want everything to boil. Moment of truth, it's been one hour. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's definitely cooking. It's cooked out all the juices too. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more broth. Hydrate that. All right. We got a rice in there and we want spinach. This is spinach and kale. Oh yeah. And now all this should be done in like 10 minutes. 
Here we go. It's that time. Let's go ahead and give the meat a go. We'll try this by itself. Everything I was reading said that this stuff was so tough. This is not tough. It's really not. Like, this is legit good. Wow, that's great. Let's get some greens and some rice. Mmm, that's actually good. It's it's a really good meat. I don't, I don't know why I was reading so much online that probably because they were frying it. Everyone's saying, it's so tough, it's so tough. You know, like, you gotta chew, chew, chew. No, that was, that, that tastes like pork. It kind of tastes like a, a pork chop or something. And honestly, um, if you don't cook your pork chop just perfectly, it's tougher than this. Like, this is not tough at all. Or at least that bite I just had was not. Very good. We cooked that for one hour on the grill inside of this turtle shell. So it kind of did like a slow cook on it almost. All I have to say about this is don't be afraid of something that you have not tried yet. I have never tried common snapping turtle, and I just did, and I'm very, very impressed. In theory, this is going to peel away. I lost a little fat there, but that's all right. Well, it's tearing off some of that fat, but I think this is good enough. Let's go ahead and just slice it to the side, see what that does. So that appeared to work, slicing it to the side, because I was hitting that bone. Let's do the other side the same way. Yeah, so all that right there is bone. All right, I think that's about as much as I can get. So this right here, we're just gonna cut into little chunks, like so. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty spongy. It's um, springy. It's, it's kind of a, a harder fat. It's not real, real smushy. All right, now that I got all this pretty small, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw it in the crock pot. So we're gonna take all of this right here and go in the crock pot. All right, so now we're gonna put this on low for six hours. So after six hours, this stuff is done. And as you can see, the fat is now rendered out. And I'm just straining it down into this cup to see how much we actually got out of it. And we got quite a bit. You could use this to fry up some potatoes or whatever you want. We're left over with these little crunchy bits, almost like pork rinds. I guess you could eat these. I'm not though. All right, guys, we're here to check our box trap, and I see something. What we got, boys? We got a possum. Oh, he, oh he's, he's alive. He's Did he snap at you? He's there spicy. he is, right there. He's as spicy as a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> that one's a small one, isn't it? He tore those sardines up. He ate them all and flipped it over. So he's had him a good lunch. I don't, I'm not too worried about this possum. Let's let this possum go. How? We're gonna open the trap and let him go. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Since this is just a little old possum and really we're here for a coyote today, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. Today is his lucky day. <laughs> I don't think he wants to go anywhere. We're gonna have to give him a little nudge. Go ahead, buddy. He's not moving. Oh. There we go. Go ahead, buddy. Go on to live your best life. There he goes. So we've had a big flood. This is the levee, you see the water trickling over but there's so much water in here now. My traps are down here on the levee. I don't even know if I can make it all the way out there. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can, but I'm wearing just regular old boots. So I don't know if I can get all the way over there. Okay. Can I get a dab? No, if an anaconda pops up, shoot it. If he, if he bites my leg and takes me in, shoot it. Got it? An anaconda. Anaconda. If he wraps me up, Dawson, I need you to walk and get in the water with him and then unwrap that anaconda, knock him out right to the head, okay? We'll see a sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> CJ wants to do this, and he says he's gonna clean his boots when they get wet, so go for it. You go first. Okay. And just remember, it's deeper on the left side than it is the right side, so if you're falling, step to the right. 
All right, Dawson's gonna come try. You you know you're gonna get wet, right? Okay, all right, come on. There he goes. <laughs> we're probably all about to get wet. Guys, we're going in to get those two traps that are set. And uh, if there's nothing in them, we're just gonna bring them back. Cause I don't know how long all this is gonna be flooded. So I need to retrieve my traps and retrieve whatever's in it. Yeah. Now this is an adventure. Yeah, his boot went all the way in. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. <laughs> now this is how you actually get to an American Ninja Warrior. This is a good trial right here. Got thorns on him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's see if it's set off. It is set off, and we got nothing in it. Okay, just don't fall in the trap. Somewhere right in here. Maybe oh not. gosh, it's this way. Look, we set the trap here, and it's flowed over, and the rope is going this way. Oh my gosh, that's a dead tree. Let's see what we got. Pause. Little did I know that I had caught a beaver by the hand two nights before. These are kill traps and intended to do exactly that. The beaver is clearly caught for seven minutes and then decides to walk out of the water and onto dry land, which my camera missed, but you can see that the rope tied to the tree is now on the opposite side of the beaver dam. Watch closely as this crow attacks the squirrel and we almost have a duck casualty. If you look to the left, you'll see this tree with the rope. The rope is now dragged left, so there could be anything on this trap. No, we didn't get anything. Well, guys, we didn't get anything, so we're just retrieving the two traps and the three trail cameras. That's the end of this video. We got a beaver and we got our traps. We did not get a coyote. So maybe on the next video, we'll have some coyotes. But until then, I'll see you next time.